Trebs on Spore are in need of a minor miracle here. Having been soundly beaten in the first leg, they really are hanging on by a thread. The story couldn't be any more different for their opponents, who are brimming with confidence, full of certainty, and looking to press home their substantial advantage to secure a which many argue is already all but theirs. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. So can there be sufficient reaction, a backlash against what we saw in the first leg? Well, we've seen it all over the years, Peter, but you can never say never. What's not in doubt, however, is the need to produce one of the finest performances of recent times. If that is to unfold, then hang on here, because this could be a thriller. I think we'll know inside the first few minutes if, if this will take off. The action has already started. Traps on Spore were so disappointed to lose in front of their own fans in the first leg. And that's a result that's left them down and all but out in the race for the semi-finals. A great gallop down the right hand side. Here's the ball. Massive leap! And it's been taken straight back. He's gone for goal! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Lajic with the short one. Osher Cup. Douglas. Douglas plays it in. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Besiktas are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. A really good feat from him. Time to deliver. And it's Chao Pereira. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Vida. Douglas. So who can spark this game into life? Vida hoists it forward. Can he deliver? Battles to win it back. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That will be the last act of the first half. Both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Well, having lost the first leg, Peter, an early goal set there was first on the menu, but there's still time to serve up the main course here. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And we're already back on the way here. Clubs on Spore can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside.
Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Plays it long. Oh, that's clever. And it's been given away. Turns and goes back. He's going after it. I think that's a goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. We have got changes here from both sides. You have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. How's your cup? Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Besiktas look completely out of sorts when it comes to crucial moments, Peter. They've lost composure and that killer instinct. He'll hit it! Away from immediate danger. That's it. They are out. Traps on Spore are out. All square here, but that's not enough. Damage done in the first leg, and they're done for. Well, given the outcome of the first game, Jim, what are you thinking now? Yeah, they can call it a, a moral victory, Peter, and nothing else. They left themselves with too much to do. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen rarely get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, Principally, each side's concern for the strengths of the other. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. The action has already started. Traps on Spore have this frantic spell of games. Fixture congestion always brings with it issues around fatigue and injury. Yeah, and the manager has got to look towards squad rotation now. A bigger part of his job is to keep a, a freshness and energy about the team. Looking for a decent ball in. Just brushed off the ball there. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Too much elaboration and not enough penetration, no damage likely. Goes for the cross. It's coming on the right now, what's on? He's gone for it! And the counter is on. So who's he picking out? 
for a throw. Forward it goes. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Tries to get it forward quickly. Guillaume plays it forward. Brings it forward. Looking to hit the front line. And now they can launch a counter. Played into space out wide. Game up to now, but still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's there's much to criticize. I mean, they've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's Hope going for goal. Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. We have got changes here, from both sides, in fact. Up to meet it! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Juf, number Juf, drives it forward. Gets it upfield. It's come through, turns and goes back. This is gone, that's uh, foul. <laughs> Keeper's got good distance on that. And it's Juf. Nil-nil the score, and we're just about done. A deeply frustrating game. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Xiao Pereira hoists it forward. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. Looks to dink one in. That intervention was very necessary. Now a chance to break. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. That's the throw. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Gets it back. Gets the better of his man. He's through, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Real chance! Oh, it's in! And surely that has won the day! That really is quite fabulous. It's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control.
Trebs on Sport. And that's it. Trebs on Spore win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1 0. Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. Looking for a decent ball in. What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Clubs on Sport produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. Traps on Spore, take the early advantage. Fenerbahce were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Tries to locate someone up front. Put a stop to that. And he's searching through. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Goes direct to the front line. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Gileson, and it's played forward. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really, to be on. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Oh, what a great leap. He had no right to get to that. Benabache, the most prolific team in the league this season. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Mm -hmm. Another 
be the final action of the first half. There we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with their first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Trebs on Spore, happy to have the lead in a... Up he gets! He can pounce on that! Trebs on Spore, a relief to hold on for a win last time round, and go again now. Lovely bit of skill. Fenerbahce are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Oh, nice touch. Guillaume with a chance! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Tufan. Gary Rodriguez. Your impression so far, Jim? Peter, they're leaving nobody guessing now. This is a decisive attempt to go further in front. Out to the left it goes, and it's Guillaume. Oh, he's found him in space, hits one! This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Hits one! Oh, and that should have been two. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Tries to get it forward quickly. Decent ball. Gets up to head it! That would have been game seven match. There's only one word for this, it, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Fenerbahce need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Looks to thread it through. Gileson. So that's it, it is all over. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looks... Well, a very good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It'll certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces hoping it will all somehow stay away, but I have to tell you that, we are told, is an extremely unlikely scenario. 
certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. And already we're underway here. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. Cleared away. He heaves it forward. That's a throw. Konya Spore were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Still goalless at the moment. And that's been levered clear. And we're not going to make any further progress now. Has a pop! That carried quite a threat. Traps on Spore, uh, cushioned by the confidence of a narrow win in their last game. It's a good foot in there. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. to locate someone up front questions were asked but he's given the answers oh he's caught him there it's a free kick Turns, shot at goal! <laughs> the defence can get it clear. Whistle goes for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half time. So we're just settling back into this second half. Clubs on score can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Konya Spor, whose manager came in for a bit of flack after their previous result. Look, some of the scrutiny is a bit over the top these days, and you're damned if you do, and damned if you don't. But he really didn't help himself. His decision-making was puzzling, to say the least. Chooses... Has a goal! Clears it out of harm's way. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. They're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Going through. 
Nil nil the score, and we're just about done. A deeply frustrating game. Well read, he sorted that out. Brings it forward. Over to the left. Trubs on score showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Has a hit! It's off target and by quite a way. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. And it's hoisted clear. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. So that's it. It is all over. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a stiff... Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, neither side could get over the line here. Perhaps one team might be happier, but at the final reckoning... Well, whatever time of day or night it is with you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to tell you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening. It hasn't arrived just yet, but it will do shortly. Glad to report, though, that that hasn't affected the crowd, who are here in good number and indeed in good voice. And the game will be underway very soon. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Xiao Pereira. It's a promising run he's making on the right. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Header! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Vinny Malacha score. Been in fine form in front of goal. They've not failed to score in any of their last five games.
other side, yet able to find the net. Yeni Malacha Spore were quick to defend their manager in the wake of criticisms levelled at him in recent days. Look, some of the scrutiny is a bit over the top these days, and you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. But he really didn't help himself. His decision making was puzzling to say the least. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Good take, and he's had a look. Now the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. So who can spark this game into life? Ball's loose, who's getting there? In it comes. Knocks it away. And the first 45 minutes are up. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. An interesting game up to now, but still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still 0-0. Nil -nil. They're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Clubs on score can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Goal is still. The other side really getting onto the front foot. Toure. Hit into the middle. Well blocked, and back out it comes. <laughs> oh, some tackle that. Oh, it's taken out. That'll be a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. <laughs> and somehow it stayed out. Hoists it forward, closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defences, it seems, on top. And the shot! Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Do they stick or twist? Caution or risk? You know, what will they rue more? I think it'd be a cautious mindset they'd regret more for me, so I'd like to see them try and go and win this. Well, both sides 
might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. to get it forward quickly. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. A little craft or guile or penetration. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to what is, in effect, a winter wonderland. The uh, snow-decorated perimeter of the pitch is perfect evidence of this and, indeed, evidence of the efforts that the ground staff have made to get all of the white stuff off the playing surface. The forecasters do say that we will have snow throughout the game, but we have been told absolutely categorically that things aren't expected to get any worse. The atmosphere is terrific. The turnout, considering the weather, is excellent and you do get the sense that a special event is ahead of us. Tries a shot! He's got away with one there. Linus for Cooley. Traps on Spore were imperious when the two sides last met, and the fans are asking for more of the same. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. He gets past his man, looking to get within range. Oh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Plays it out to the flank. Galatasaray were impressive in their last outing and brilliantly orchestrated by the manager. He's a manager who understands how important the bench can be. Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. He's missed, but not by that far. Up he gets! The outcome could so easily have been different. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Luyen Dama plays it forward.
Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Belanda finds himself back in the starting side for the first time in a while. Diagne. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. Forward it goes. Keeper sends it forward. Referee's had a look. And he's thrown his whistle for half time. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And the game has already resumed here. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Traps on Spore, looking to put things right here following their narrow defeat. And it's played forward. Cleared away. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. Delivers a crop. Towering header! goal we've all been yearning for Kochuk reacted well to the initial effort but couldn't get it right out of the danger area oh Peter you can't teach that you either have it or you don't his anticipation is on another level to everyone else's superb so time for changes on both sides actually well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been... ...had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. So we have our breakthrough. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? Gets the power of his man. Galatasaray are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Played out to the right, plenty waiting in the middle, shoots! That has certainly tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. And oh! Oh, taken with style! And surely that does it! Perfect time, decisive strike! He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Two up and very little time left, surely this is it. And that will be the final act. Well, the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win.
Well, a very, very warm welcome to you on what is, of course, a truly special day in this part of the world. It is Derby Day, a rivalry so deeply entrenched into the history of sport in this land. It divides opinions, it divides families, it divides just about anything that can be divided. The game itself lasts just 90 minutes, but its repercussions can be felt for months and years ahead. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Everybody knows what this means. Those looks say it all, Jim. Yes, here's hoping for a, a fully committed contest, Peter, with both sides exercising controlled discipline. If the right spirit is in play... And the shots! Traps on Spore, still without an attempt on target. Hoists it forward. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's played forward. Cut it out. Forward it goes. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to get it forward quickly. Made right towards the front men. Chance to break. Just brushed off the ball there. Hoists it forward. Tries a shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Clubs on score know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. Morosio. Forward it goes. Oh, good interception. And it's played forward. Foul, free kick's been given. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. <laughs> Time to deliver. Going for goal! Good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. And this could be the final action of the first half. Knocks it away. Here's the whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. The midway point of the game. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end, and I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Clubs on score can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. And here's Remy. Shooting chance! Goal! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for.
the lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? He's got options out wide. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Looking to go deep. Trebs on score and have a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. What a chance from here, but not the kindest angle. Looking to think it in. And that's been levered clear. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Trubs on score, showing a little more room. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. He's played him through. Has a pop! And that could come back to haunt them. That was extremely good focus from the keeper, and it could turn out to be quite a significant moment. Away from immediate danger. Balls come loose, and the follow-up. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Traps on Spore, have it back, and they can go again. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Tries to get it forward quickly, dashing forward at pace. Finds himself eased off the ball. Clubs on score need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Cuts it out. So that's it, it is all over. Well, you can analyse to your heart's content, it won't change the outcome, they have lost the game. So there it is. Well, hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. 
There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. And already hits one! It's off target and by quite a way. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Great gallop down the right-hand side. It's a goal kick. Sivaspor, whose manager was the brains behind the last win. I think, Peter, we have to give credit where it's due. He had a problem up top, and he tweaked the system. He's gone for it! I really don't think you could expect anything better from the goalkeeper then. We're near heroic territory. Sivaspor seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. Huh? Oh, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Hoists it forward, cuts it out. Going through. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Forward it goes. Uh, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. This could spin. Real chance! Oh, nearly. That nearly is nothing. Oh, that look of disbelief. of the first half so both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means so first half thoughts I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort they've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well no goals at this stage but certainly not devoid of action it is nil-nil here at half time well, the action has already resumed here Probs on score playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite the scoreline converting chances would make a world of difference for them <laughs> driving on now what can they conjure from here Traps on Spore, suffered a frustrating loss last time, for which the boss is... Has a pop! He scored! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Traps on Spore, take the lead. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out. It's paid off here. <laughs> Plenty waiting in the middle. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Oh, he's well, not played the ball, that's a foul. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. <laughs> He's 
made sure that that won't get through. Xiao Pereira. 75 minutes played. Shot at goal! There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Loses his balance and loses the ball. This is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Almost there and the players can feel it. That intervention was very necessary. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Trebs on Spore, win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test between two teams that... Hello, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of... He's had a shot! Attempt, just the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Full cut. Traps on Spore were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. So he sit forward. Found this man. It's anyone's ball. Good clearance and very necessary. Traps on Spore are seeing more of the ball, but still not carrying much goal threat. Traps on Spore were uh, relieved to hold on for a win last time round and go again now. Out to the left it goes. They're not going to make any further progress now. And that's been one straight back. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Gets the better of his man. Plays it out to the flank. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. That will be the last act of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. 
So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. And the game has already resumed here. Trubs on score, playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Oh, that is lovely footwork. It's being played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Over to the left. Now the point blank header. Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Kulka looking to hit the front line. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Trebs on Spore making another change here. Shoots! Sticks it away! Well, if ever there was a perfect time to score, I think we just witnessed it. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it and the rest became a formality. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Alanya Spore get themselves into the lead. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. And the finish! Should have equalised. Now oh, that's a great response though, and it's a statement declaring that they're not done with this yet. No, he didn't quite meet it right. And it's been taken short. Can he deliver? Turns and goes back. Traps on Spore. Desperately need a goal, and this could well be their last chance. Crossed in. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Trebs on Spore have fallen short on the day. Going to need to bounce back from this.
Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. Reflected behind for a corner kick. And that's been lever clear. Nkudu. Yalchin gets it back. back to the keeper and go again. And it's Guillaume. Oh, this must be so frustrating for their fans to see. It was almost possession for the sake of possession, meaningless in the end. The Shiktas were imperious when the two sides last met, and the fans are asking for more of the same. Guillaume. Yelchin displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Nkudu proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. He's got options out wide. It's one. Just off target. To push, who is there, and he can get goes for goal. Shapes to shoot. And he reached half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. Have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. The midway point of the game. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end, and I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. And after 45 minutes, it is Tokosh has got himself a free kick. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. It's a loose ball. to emerge with the ball that's a contest to keep an eye on well they would seem to be trying to expose the center of that defense to to runners it makes for some terrific movement it does and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires none that's a foul no two ways about it and he's 
going to have his name taken. Besiktas We're on the receiving end of some fairly harsh criticism, mainly about the tactical choices made by the boss. I think it was quite fair, the criticism he received. He was blind to an obvious problem, and he was far too slow in, in reacting to it. He was never going to get away with that. Clubs on sport merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. So that's it, it is all over. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity.